Hi, I'm Ben with Heirloom Roses. I'm out here in our beautiful stock field surrounded by lots of roses. This one in particular is Fragrant Cloud. And I'm gonna to talk to you about watering and the best ways to water your roses and some tips and tricks that should make it easy for you to really have your plant be healthy and get exactly what it needs for the growing season. So to start off, we say in general, roses need two to three inches of water per week. But I don't know if you're like me, I don't really think in terms of inches, that's kind of hard to tell. Um, so I would say in general terms, it's four to five gallons per week uh, to keep your rose really hydrated and doing well. And in hot weather, you can give it more than that. It really, it's gonna be hard to overwater your rose in really hot weather, but what you don't want is soggy feet. So in the springtime, when the ground's wet, you know, don't be watering your roses. You want your roses to really drain and do well. They don't like to have their roots sitting in water. So what we say is, to water at the base of the plant. And that would be anywhere around 12 inches around is where the root zone is. And you wanna water right in that. So one problem can be is if you're just blasting it with hose is a lot of that water will actually go off and not actually get down to the roots. So it's best when watering to water slowly. And so I have a watering can to demonstrate this right now. And we know that there's lots of different ways to do this, but just watering at the base slowly so that that water absorbs in and doesn't run off. And that's really gonna be the best way to get the water down to the roots, let the plant take it up, and to get that fully soaked in and hydrated. So another reason to water at the base of the plant is that you don't want water covering your plant, especially when it's gonna sit there for a long period of time, it can, it can actually help disease grow and cause problems. Now that being said, we do say once a week, it's really good to kind of spray your plant off. What that does is it's gonna wash off the dust. It will also wash off bugs. So if you ever have an aphid infestation or spider mites, if you hit your rose with water, that's really a quick and easy way to get those bugs off of there. And the blasting of them will actually kill aphids. One of the best ways to get rid of aphids is just spray it down. So that's just one trick. So I wanna to talk to you about another way to water. Um, this watering can is kind of inefficient. It works well when you're planting something new, but I want to show you a different way that maybe you haven't, you haven't really thought of. Okay, so this is a seven gallon bucket. It's nothing fancy. It's just an Ace Hardware bucket, seven gallons. But it's something my wife and I have used for a long time in our gardens. And we got the idea from someone in the orchard business where they were starting new trees. And it's a seven gallon bucket, and we put an eighth inch hole at the bottom. And my kids have called these pea buckets. And well, that's self-explanatory. So what we do is we set this right here at the bottom of the plant, and that seven gallons will slowly leach in just like a drip system and water this plant. So you know that you're getting five gallons of water right on this plant, right in the light spot, and it's controlled over a period of time. It's really an effective way to water things in if you don't have a drip system or an irrigation system in your yard. So one of the benefits here is that this water is coming in slowly and concentrated in a single area. That's gonna allow that water to go really deep. What that's gonna do is actually train your rose to push its roots deep and really become more established. So water deeply, slowly over time, and it's conditioning your roots to grow deep and become solid and really become a healthy plant. The best time to water plants in general is in the morning. In the cool of the morning, the plant is gonna take up the water much better, you're gonna get less evaporation, and then your plant has got everything it needs to go through the hot summer day. I always tell people, water in your pajamas. It's a great time to be out in your yard, have your cup of coffee, watering your plants early in the morning, that's the optimal time of day. A good rule of thumb to know whether you need to water your plant is the finger test. If you push on the soil here at the bottom and you can't get your finger in there and it's not soft where you're, you can get down to a couple inches, that's pretty dry. It needs, it needs some water and that's a good time to water. Another time to water is when, if your plant starts to droop, that's, that's another optimal time that your plant is saying, hey, we need water and water it then. Another way to tell how often you should water is once you've watered and your plants look perked up, watch your rose and once it starts to droop, then it needs water and then you can tell how many days apart that is, and that should be your cadence for watering. Just a good rule of thumb. That will shorten up as the weather gets a lot warmer. It's gonna dissipate more water and evaporate, 
So you're gonna wanna shorten that up. Just keep an eye on your plant. It will tell you when it needs more water. So the final thought I have about watering is the use of compost. Compost is really gonna help trap moisture in the soil. It's gonna protect the roots from drying out and make it much more of a regulated process where it's gonna have a better way for that to retain water. So we typically say comp mulch in your rows is pretty heavy. Two to three inches around each plant is really optimal. We really like mint compost. Mint compost is a great mulch. It also has a lot of nitrogen in it, so when you water through it, it actually helps uh, fertilize your plant. And the natural oils in mint compost deter bugs. So it's a great all-around solution. Now, out here in our stock fields, we don't have compost on these plants right here. We have a good layer and we have a different drip system. So it doesn't pertain to this plant, but in your yard, it's super important. For more information about growing roses and to find beautiful own root roses for your garden, visit us at heirloomroses.com.